Hey guys, you found Paul Daddy's Blind Dog Barbecue, and today I'm gonna to cover some low sodium brisket rubs. But they don't have to be brisket rubs, we'll just call them barbecue rubs. So whatever you wanna put barbecue on. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that maybe they're under doctor's orders, they need to cut out the salt. Well, this contains no extra salt. Maybe you just want to eat more healthy and you prefer to have less salt. So these are some rubs that you should consider. We're going to go through them real quick. And I've got two recipes and we'll get right to it. Okay, this first recipe that we're doing is called Carolina Dirt. And there is a product on Amazon that's a commercial based and part of the name of it is Carolina Dirt. It contains salt. So it's not to be confused with this recipe, this recipe code. Uh, contains no added salt. So with that, we're gonna get right to it. Calls for one tablespoon of brown sugar, and that would be packed. So we're putting that in. Then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. One teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon granulated garlic. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of cumin. Got a quarter teaspoon of dried mustard. And last, one eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. And of course it goes without saying, you can expand this recipe out ever how far you want and make it as large as you want. This just, We're just making a small batch for demonstration purposes. So what I typically do is just hit it with the whisk to break up any of the larger chunks. Okay, and then we're gonna pop this lid on. Give it a good shake. And there you got it, Carolina dirt. No salt. Okay, and I've got some Carolina dirt already made over here. Always good to have your bags labeled. You think you remember and then you don't. And trust me, the older you get, your memory's not gonna get better. So you can take that to the bank. So there you have it, Carolina dirt. Okay guys, let's get started on this next rub and it's a little bit different. It's a little spicier to me and uh, we'll get right after it. First thing it calls for is one quarter cup of paprika. So in we go, quarter cup. And then you got one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of brown sugar. I've got them both in the same container and they will go in at the same time. And that's followed by four teaspoons of cumin. One tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of black pepper. And I use coarse black, it doesn't say whether to use coarse or fine. And then one and a half teaspoons of oregano. And the last thing it calls for is one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And guys, you're making the recipe. If you don't like it hot, don't put the cayenne pepper in there. If you want it less hot than that, you could substitute jalapeno powder for it. Jalapeno powder's not as hot as cayenne. If that's too hot for you, you could go with some ancho chili powder. That's not as hot as jalapeno. But if you're totally averse to it, don't put any in there. You're the one in charge. And I will say this, if you taste this recipe, just right straight out of the bag, you are gonna taste that chili powder. But once you put it on the meat, I don't find much heat in it at all. So just keep that in mind. That heat dissipates fast once it goes on the meat and in the cooker. So you may think that you're heating it up, but you're really not heating it up as much as you probably think. We'll give that a good mix. Pop that top off. 
And then right here, that's what we got. And I just call it, like I say, I'm gonna call it old rub number two, cause I don't have a better name for it. So as far as I'm concerned, old rub number two. Into the bag that is pre-labeled. Get the air out. Keep them in a cool, dark place. And I like to keep mine in the freezer. And when you take it out, it doesn't take it but a second and it's just back ready to go. Two great rubs, low sodium if you're planning on ditching the salt or using these and using a little bit of salt. It's up to you. Make them the way you want to make them. But these are two great choices. I appreciate you watching. As always, hit the like button and then go down there and smash that red subscribe button in the bottom corner. And I'll see you at my next video.